Assalamu alaikum brothers and sisters. Why the Yahudi, the Jew, they are terrified, they are horrified. Why, why, why they are so eager to really get it over with? And I'm talking about end of time, the Messiah, not necessarily the end of time that we talk about, but the Messiah. They want to have that Messiah right now if they could. They could actually make somebody Messiah forcefully because subhanallah this is what they are doing uh, they and this is what they have done in the past that they will invent something in the religion and say this is from in haza min indillah as allah said in the quran they will say this is from allah so if they have a man they think oh this guy should be the masih they will make him masih and then say oh this is from allah now something interesting very interesting is happening right now and you do not know about this most of you in fact even myself, I did not know until somebody, one brother or two brothers, you guys have mentioned to me that, brother, you have to look at this. Why they are so horrified, terrified about this cow? Yeah, I'm talking about Bakara. I'm talking about Bakara. So let's find out what is going on. Let's take a look at this, actually, this video. Let's, let's listen to this video first, and then I'll be making some very interesting, very important points. And before I do that, consider to subscribe because most of my viewers are not subscribed and you are if you are one of them then you better subscribe you know what i mean subscribe these are the red heifers that landed at israel's ben Gurion airport rabbis believe the ashes of a red heifer are necessary for purifying priests to serve in a future temple the heifers were discovered and brought to israel with the help of the bone israel Building Israel organization and its team leader Byron Stinson. Rabbis from the Temple Mount Institute approached Stinson about the unique cattle. They said, Byron, could you look in Texas and find us a red heifer? I wasn't expecting that and it was shocking to me to think about it, but I know a lot of ranchers and I know a little bit about cattle, being from Texas, and I always say yes to these Jewish rabbis because they're my friends and I love them. And, uh, why not? This began an in-depth process of finding the rare heifer. Finding the rare heifer. Heifer basically means a cow. Remember the Quran. Now, I want to mention about a miracle from the Quran, the universality of this uh, book. Allah Azawajal told Musa Islam to command the people of Israel to slaughter a cow. Inna allaha ya'murukum tazhabu baqara. Musa Alaihissalam said to his people, Allah commanded, Ya Murukum, to you to sacrifice a cow. When was that happening? Long time ago. When Quran was revealed, 1400 years ago plus. Allah quoted the conversation. And we can ask this question why is Allah quoting that story? Why about a cow? What the Israelites did and what Musa Alaihissalam said? I mean, what that has to do with us? But subhanallah, look at the miracle and the relevancy of this book, Quran. We see exactly what they are doing. The Yahudi, they are bringing this special red heifer from Texas, US, to Israel in order to slaughter it so that they can use the ashes from this cow to cleanse themselves from all kind of sinfulness because they believe the Masih would not come until they, you know, they do some repentance. They clean, you know, they, clean, they clean themselves from all these sins. Very, very interesting, isn't it? Quran mentioned it. They're doing it still today. That means key stipulations found in the Bible. The Bible gives us a clue as to the significance of the red heifers here in uh, Numbers chapter 19, verse 1 and 2, where it says that God spoke to Moses and Aaron saying, This is the ritual law that God has commanded, instruct the children of Israel to bring you a red cow without blemish, in which there is no defect, and on which no yoke has been laid. So it says that we're supposed to take a perfectly red cow with no uh, white hairs or dark hairs at all and a cow that no yoke has ever been on so as a result it's very very rare to find a baby cow that is completely red the ashes of the red heifer would be used to purify water from the gihon spring in the city of david just a few ashes could purify thousands of gallons of water that water can be then purified priests from any contact with a dead body 
so they can offer sacrifice in the temple. Some Jews go every single day to a ritual bath, to a mikveh, in order to approach God in prayer in purity. However, it is not the same because we don't have the red heifer. Once we have the red heifer, we'll be completely pure and we'll be able to rebuild the temple. The red heifer must... As you have heard, we will be able to build the third temple once we purify ourselves. One narration from the Jew tradition, it said, what, what I read, is that you use the ashes from this red heifer and you... And you put water and purify yourself. Other tradition, other narration at this person, this rabbi, he said that the water from the flowing stream of water, people will take a bath and they clarify or they purify themselves. And that water has the ashes from this red heifer. Another thing that I have noticed this person is saying is that it has to be a certain type of cow. Exactly the same story with Musa al -Islam. when. Musa Islam said, Allah Azza commanded you, Ya'murukum tazhaba tazhabu bakara. They said, what kind of cow is this? Old or young? Blue? Yellow? What is the color? They were asking questions and trying to be very, very specific. Exactly this is what is reverberating right now in the Jews tradition that we can see that they are very, very specific when choosing this cow. And dear my sisters, this cow is going to be a mean a way for them to welcome the Masih for the end of time. Can you imagine this sacrifice has to do with end of time? Yes, you might be surprised that a cow has to do with end of time thing. The reality and the teaching of Judaism is saying exactly that. Why we talk about this cow? Because the Yahudi... Yes, they are trying to be purifying themselves, but they're terrified. They're terrified because they have committed so much sin. Now they have this cow. They do not know what will happen to them. Would they be able to finally build the third temple? Would they be able to finally have the Messiah because of this cow sacrifice and other rituals that they're performing? The Yahudi, in other words, they are obsessed with end of time. They're worried, they're terrified about the end of time, and they're so eager at the same time. They are praying at the wall, the western wall in Jerusalem, continuously, and they're so devoted to this cause that they must have a Messiah, and the end of time is here. They go to the Masjid Al-Aqsa, they storm the Masjid, they kick out the Muslims from there, doing all kinds of things, just so that they have their Messiah. And the Iran sisters... It is not looking good because obviously the Palestinians will be under tremendous pressure and the oppression, the tyranny that is going on against them will just increase. Thank you so much for tuning in, for joining in for this session. For the end of time, new here, consider to subscribe. See you in the next video. Assalamu alaikum.